Hello guys, this is my first video in a series I'm going to start. Um, it's going to be called Understanding the uh, Components in Your Computer. So today I'm going to be talking about RAM. Okay, now if you don't understand RAM or you just want to upgrade it, that's fine. Okay, but understanding first. Um, understanding RAM. RAM is... Okay, like, have you ever played the game Memory with the cards? You have to flip them and, uh... You know, find you have to match them up. Well, try playing that game when you just wake up and you're like, you just want to go back to sleep and you're just not into it. That's that's like one gigabyte of RAM, or even lower than that probably. So what I'm trying to say is, the more RAM, like the faster you do things. Like think of the cards applications you open. Like one card is Word. One card is opening Safari, one card is opening, I don't know, like Facebook or something on the internet. And, it's like, the RAM upgrading it, like, um, 2 gigs of RAM is like when you're more awake, 3 gigs is where you're really awake, and so on. So, you want more gigs of RAM, like the highest amount. <clears throat> and, uh, that's basically understanding RAM. RAM just helps you open processes faster helps you just execute stuff faster um, also does multitasking like having the internet open listening to music on iTunes and typing a word document um, with one gig of RAM you're definitely not going to do that but with more RAM you're going to do that um, I recommend four to six gigs of RAM that's about today's standard or so and when Windows 8 comes out you definitely want to have four gigs of RAM so um, yeah, you just gotta keep upgrading. If you have XP, then you really don't need to upgrade, but, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to upgrade RAM. Okay, here we go. This is a computer in process, so I'm rebuilding. So it's kind of cluttered right now, but... Okay. See those slots right there? One, two, three. And there's an empty one. This is where you're going to be putting your RAM. See, I only have three sticks, but I'm going to buy another one. Alright, say you only have two sticks. And you know, let me just take this one out. Okay, say you only have two sticks of RAM, like I have right there, just two. And you just bought this stick of RAM from, I don't know, with Best Buy or something. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the RAM... Um, okay, do not touch the pins on the bottom like I just did, that's bad. And what you're going to do is make sure you have the right RAM first of all. So I try contact, this is a Dell, so I contact Dell, ask what kind of RAM you got, or anyone in the family or whatever that, you know, knows a lot about computers. So you're going to take the piece of RAM, flip it like this, and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to line it up in the socket right in there. Hold on. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Okay, so... Okay, you're going to want to line it up. I tried to demonstrate before. Okay. Now that it's in there and it's not like it's just it's just lined up. But I don't know if you guys can see, but the the stick I just put in it's a little higher than the others. So what you're gonna have to do is see these white clamps four four. This one and this one is for just one stick. So that's one, two, three, four. So we installed the third slot. So what you're gonna do is See how it's a little out of line? You're going to take the third slot you just put in, put pressure on this side, put pressure on this side, put pressure on it, and then clip. Pressure on this side, pressure on this side, clip. Now it's in. Okay, as you guys can see, it's in. It's a, it looks like a little out of line over here, but it, no, it's in. And that's how you install RAM. Um, if you guys have any questions or a suggestion that uh, you want me to uh, show, 
I think I'm gonna be doing a video on the power supply, video card, CPU, um, if you guys have any suggestions or any thoughts or any questions about computer hardware or software, um, just leave a message or message me, uh, yeah, thanks.